the little wren, uh, I was afraid for it because he was a cat. Anyway, the little wren found a, an opening in the screen and flew out and lit on a house plant. And um, the, you know, spats went over to the plant and the little wren flew to a bookcase. And my job was to try to keep the wind alive and to try to get it out some way. I didn't know how in the world I was going to get this bird out of my house. So I picked Spats up, put him in a room, and thought I had latched the door. And by that time, the little wind had gone to our dining room and it was hopping around in the dining room floor. And I opened a window hoping that the wind would go out. Well, uh, it didn't, and Spats got out, ran into the dining room, uh, and I ran in there and picked him up, put him in that room again, and by that, and that time I made sure I had the door latched, and uh, then little Wren went into the kitchen. Well, I closed the kitchen doors, this one and the other one that goes into the dining room and living room, and made sure they were latched. And um, I opened the back door, and my I just wanted to give the wind its freedom and give it safe, you know, keep it safe. So um, it had hopped over to our... Uh, refrigerator and there was cat food on the floor in a bowl and it was hungry and it started eating and then went behind the refrigerator and I had to get it out. I didn't want to scare it. You know, I didn't want to make it scared. So it hopped out the other side and I just kind of walked it behind it and it hopped and I walked behind it. It didn't seem terribly afraid of me but it saw that the back door was open and it hopped over there. And I kid you not, I still get cold chills when I remember when I see that little wind. It looked back at me like, thank you for my freedom. And it flew away.